Hey, this is Heather from Especially Paper. I'm going to show you how to upload an SVG file to Cricut Design Space. I'll start with a really simple file that only has cut lines, no scoring or writing. Then I'll go through the process with a file that has score lines and writing. I'll also share a few tips for grouping, attaching, and organizing pieces. From the Canvas view, navigate to the Upload icon at the bottom of the left-hand menu. Select Upload Image, then Browse to bring up a file selection window. Navigate to the SVG file you'd like to upload and click Open. The first template I'm uploading is the Anemone Flower Template. If you'd like, add tags to help you search for the file later. Click the green Upload button in the lower right. Select the file you've just opened and click the green Add to Canvas button. Images will be placed at their default size with all pieces grouped. If you don't need to make any adjustments or color updates, you can go straight to make it. That's it for a straightforward cut only file. It really is very simple once you know where to go. Let's take a look at a more complex file that includes scoring and writing in addition to cutting. Select Upload in the lower left and then tap Upload Image and browse so that you can navigate to the file you'd like to upload. So the file I'm uploading is a unicorn party popper. It includes cutting, writing, as well as scoring in the same file. It's just as easy to do. There are just a few more steps that it takes to get the file set up to cut and upload. Once you have an image uploaded, if you click on the three little dots, it will give you the option to delete the image. So just something that's handy to know. Select the image and click Add to Canvas. Ungroup the pieces so that you can select each one individually. I'm also going to zoom out so that I can see all of the pieces. So in the lower left hand corner, you can zoom in or zoom out. And Cricut overlapped a couple of the pieces, so I'm just going to move those to the side. Those are the mane for the unicorn and then his horn at the top. So starting with the unicorn that has rainbows on it, we want to draw those rainbows with the pen. And Cricut, this is such a great addition. So you can now actually rename your layers. It makes it a lot easier to keep things organized. So select the layer that has the rainbows on it and change the operation to pen. And then select the type of pen you'll be using. I'm using a glitter gel pen in rows. Select the face and take the same steps. Switch to pen and I'm going to use a black glitter gel pen. So Cricut will tell you once you send it to the machine, it will tell you when it's time to swap tools. Select the lines that need to be scored and change the operation to score. You need to attach the pieces that should be cut together. But first, let me show you what would happen if you didn't take that step. So if you were to go to make it now, Cricut will lay out all of the pieces individually. So you can see it's spread across multiple mats. So cancel that and select the rainbow unicorn and then select attach at the bottom nav. I'm going to rename that layer too so that I can keep track of what I'm doing. In this case, I want to cut the horn and the mane together as well. So I'm also attaching those pieces. All right, in case you missed it, we're going to do the same steps for the other version of the unicorn that has hearts. So select the heart pattern. Switch the operation to pen, 
and then select the type of pen you're using. Select the face, also change that one to pen, and select the type of pen. Keeping in mind that you can use a lot of different colors and it will tell you when to swap out for each pen. So change the score lines to score and attach those pieces together. Now, if you want in the same case to do the horn and the mane and the body together, you can also click and drag over pieces in order to select them all and then attach. If you don't want to cut a particular piece, you can simply hide it in the layer menu. Just click on the eyeball on the right hand side. You could also delete them from that view. I'm going to keep them because I want to use them later. But that's an easy way to keep things from being sent to the mat. So I do want to send them. So I go back and unhide them. And I'm going to hide the rainbow unicorn. I just want to cut the one right now. So you can see now that all the pieces are attached, Cricut's going to keep it together on the mat. I'm swapping to an eight and a half by 11 sheet. I'm going to be cutting this piece from a lightweight cardstock. But I actually like to select the medium cardstock settings. I find that cuts better for me with lightweight cardstock. So you can see that the Cricut is telling you to load the black pin and the scoring wheel. You could also use the scoring stylus if you prefer. And then it shows you what's coming up next. So it's going to switch to the dark rose pen and the fine point blade. So once you've sent it to the machine, it will pause and let you know when to swap to the other tool or to the other color. If you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe. I publish paper craft tutorials as well as tips and tutorials for using cutting machine software with Cricut and Silhouette.